It's not hearsay. I personally witnessed my uncle, Stefan Cassadine, threaten to murder Luke Spencer on many occasions, too numerous to recount here. On the night my uncle died, he attacked Luke, who reacted in self-defense. That's a lie. I attacked Stefan with a knife because I wanted him dead. You need to be quiet. I'm not ashamed and I'm not sorry. I willfully, knowingly, remorselessly murdered Stefan Cassadine. And if he comes back from the dead, as his kind often do, I'll... Jace, it's M. I need to see you as soon as possible. It's about Xander and Nicholas. All right, you guys definitely have to go. Make sure those handcuffs are good and tight. He can be awfully slippery. However, the citizens of this town owe him a debt of gratitude by saving them the expense of a trial, by admitting that he's guilty as hell. My client admitted to involuntary manslaughter, nothing Don't more. Don't you ever listen? It wasn't involuntary, it was murder. I planned it, I plotted it, I executed it with extreme malice of forethought. When are you gonna step being your worst enemy? Uh, Alexis has a point. As much as I appreciate grandstand plays, this one's gonna blow up in your face. Let it! Hello again. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Uh, why are you at Luke Spencer's hearing? How is that your business? Well, I did help you last night and I didn't have to, so if you could uh, give me an answer, that would be really nice. I helped you too. I could have squealed or rolled out from under the bed while you were groping your girlfriend, but I chose not to. You can pay me back by leaving me alone. Anything more I can do to help? Yeah, you can stop butting in, stop messing with my business. Let me interpret. He wanted to thank you for his testimony. Don't interpret. Listen up, both of you. It was murder. I did it on purpose. I went to Spoon Island with a knife, fully intending to leave it in that bastard's bloodless heart. That's exactly what I did. End of case. I'm tired of you do-gooders. Take me to my cell. Wow, you work fast. <laughs> All the real hideous pieces are gone already. With any luck, we'll have some market value and, you know, we could brighten up Windermere and turn a profit at the same time. What's wrong? Yeah. I found, um, found something concealed under, under the base of the bronze raven. handwriting yeah I, I didn't read it um I'll, I'll leave so you can read it no no no, no no I don't want any secrets from you hey we'll read it together okay reads like a suicide note Dear Nicholas, if you're reading this, I'm dead and Luke Spencer is on his way to prison. I'm confident you'll find a way to get out from underneath the debt. What this is about is a long-term solution to a long-standing threat. I plan to, I plan to lure Luke to Spoon Island, to the very bluff where Summer fell. I'll goad him into killing me, and if I can't, I'll jump. All that matters is the end result. My death, Luke's incarceration, will ensure you live your life in a safety and peace. What do you want to do? <sighs> I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I mean, Luke, Luke swears that he killed my uncle. Maybe, maybe he did, and this letter's irrelevant. If you could write the ending of all of this, what would it be? Luke would go free. My uncle would rest in peace and this ridiculous Spencer Cassadine war would finally be over. But of course, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. Clearly, Luke wants something else. I mean, he's, he's gone out of his way to declare his guilt. Shouldn't I respect that 
Luke, as a man, has the right to make that choice and destroy this letter. Hi. Hi. Thought I'd find you here. I'm being morbid, I know. No. He was your uncle. You're allowed to grieve for him. <laughs> He'd want more than that. He'd want me to avenge him for sure. Man. What good would that do? Well, I'd, I'd be fulfilling my destiny. You know, I was raised to be the Cassidine Prince, which means I was taught how to hate. I was taught how to value revenge. I was taught how to plot and scheme. The same way I was, I was taught how to, uh, to write or speak Latin. All the knowledge is there. It's there. It's, in, it's inside me. I may choose not to use it, but I understand how to make Luke pay. Excuse me. Why would you want to, Nicholas? Why would I want to? Why would I want to? Can I tell you a secret? Of course you can. You can tell me anything you want. You know that. I'm not sorry. Luke killed my uncle. But it takes everything I have not to hate Luke for turning my uncle into a monster in the first place. You know, when I, when I was growing up, I, I remember my uncle as he, he was strong and, and, and sure of himself. And now, when I think of him in the end, he was... He was bitter... And, t and twisted and, and half insane. And you know what? That's Luke's fault. It really is. There wasn't anything I could do ab about it until you found that letter. And now, if Luke wants to go to prison, why shouldn't I let him, Emily? Nicholas, you do whatever it takes to set you free. You do, do whatever lets you walk away from this endless war with this pointless hate. You're so much better than that. Jace, hey, hey, listen. I need to ask another enormous favor. It's about Nicholas. I already know. Faith purchased a Cassidyne death from Alcazar. Now she's refusing to take my money for payments so she can force Nicholas into business with her. Okay, listen, I know it's a lot to ask, but can you protect Nicholas? You know, scare, scare Faith so badly that she'll leave him alone. I have my own plans for Faith. But Emily, I, I need you to understand how serious this is now. Stopping Faith means stopping Xander, too. Are you okay with that? The housekeeper let me in. What brings you here? I got the impression that we share a common goal. Neither of us wants to see Luke spend his life in prison, and we both support the self-defense theory. So tell me, if I'm wrong, I, I will leave right now. No. no, you're not wrong. Great. Okay, well, I was wondering if, if maybe you could help me find any evidence that would that would help support that, you know, maybe a receipt for a gun that Stefan purchased or, or a bill from a PI that kept Luke under surveillance, anything that would document uh, Stefan's grudge against Luke. I didn't realize you and Luke were so close. Well, I wouldn't go that far. You see, uh, Luke is uh, very important to, to a project that I'm working on, and he's not too much help in prison, so the first step would be getting him exonerated of Stefan's murder. <laughs> I think you're forgetting that Luke doesn't want to be exonerated. Well, that would be the second reason I'm getting involved. I've had my experience with life trashing. The acting out, pushing of limits. Throwing yourself up so high in the sky just to see how far you'll come crashing down. That is what Luke is doing right now. And if he is able to succeed, well, that would be a real waste. One young woman's life was threatened, another taken. Obviously, Stephen Cassidyne was spiraling out of control.
after all, it makes sense that he would turn that rage into... No, uh, 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 that's not right. Excuse me. Uh, can you... Hold on one second. Let me just finish this thought. Stop and cast and I intended to kill Luke Spencer. That might have been a bluff. That's better. I'm sorry, what can I do for you? You can die, bitch. Jace, Xander is not thinking clearly. He went to work for Faith to get back does at it, me. It doesn't matter why he did it. He's made himself a threat. It's, it's my fault. I hurt him so badly, Jace. Please don't hurt him Emily, anymore. Emily, you know I would do anything for you. I know. But this is, this is not a game. And normally, I, I don't like to discuss business with you. But Faith tried to kill me, okay? And now Xander's lined himself up with her. In the end, his reasons do not matter. He's an enemy. Okay. What if, what if Xander quit? Yeah, if I could get through to him and make him stop working for Faith, then you would be able to leave him alone, Xander right? has crossed the line. There's no crossing back. This is getting tiresome, people. You know, I was just getting to the good part of the book I'm reading. If she brought you here to try to talk me into going for self-defense, she's wasted your time. It wasn't self-defense, Luke. My uncle killed himself. The hell he did. He left that letter. It lays out his whole plan. We were set up. My uncle always meant to die that night. As soon as I turn that over to the DA, you'll be free. The letter's a forgery. Go ahead and make a run for it. I'll just shoot you in the back. Who are you? The daughter of the man you killed. Luis Alcazar. But you sound surprised. Did you not think he had anyone who cared about him enough to avenge his murder? It was so defense he tried to kill me. Liar! My father was in his hotel room. In his pajamas. A woman was sleeping in the next room. You barged in. Stabbed him. Pushed him off of a balcony. And you didn't pay. They let you off to defend another murder on an excuse. Self-defense. Whose idea of justice is that? I realize that to tell you I'm sorry would be woefully inappropriate because it is obvious how much you loved your father. And I'm quite certain that he loved you too. Which is why you shouldn't be doing it. Shut up! You killed my father and now you're gonna die. 